Hello, welcome back to IT Lundy, securing Hadoops. Earlier we covered the pillars of Hadoops, how we can secure it, what does it mean? We will continue with the AD provisioning. So move on to enabling, enablement of Azure AD domain services, navigate to the portal, navigate to Azure tenant, enable domain services uh, and set the focus on the config tab and enable the domain services. Move on next to the other part will take 30 up to 30 minutes for the first IP address to be assigned available and then the network uh, appear for the IP address and the configuration page. Just be patient. Then we move on to the update, update the IP address, DNS settings for your configuration, update the setting to for the VNet, allow the machine to be joined, use the IP address for the Azure domain services to be displayed. And then you can next you will do the certificate. To do the certificate, we will cover that one next after the VNet. We need to update the VNet with the DNS settings. After extracting it, you can see the DNS for Hadoops, enter primary and secondary DNS server name. Then we move on to the certificate to secure for LDAP and AADS uh, communication. We need to obtain a certificate, export it into PFX file, enable the secure LDAP management. And then we the certificate requirement basically obtain create certificate that meet the following requirement. It must be trusted by CA lifetime at least between three to six months subject DNS name need to be valid example you can see this is for the AA DNS securing hadoops.omicro.com key usage digital signature and you know uh, key uh, encipherment and then certificate purpose for SSL server communication not the client this is obvious then I'm to create the self signed certificate this is the command just to show you you can do it through the GUI if you want to but I'm into PowerShell and you know like Python or others. So you can use PowerShell to create a self-signed cert, open PowerShell as an admin, run the command for self-signed cert in your machine, lifetime equal get date, in new self-signed certificate object, and you give it uh, like a wildcard name. Again, lifetime, purpose, and C name. I will leave this one here so you can basically uh, use it if you want to, okay? Otherwise, uh, we move on to the next. You go to the export of the cert, launch the certificate through MMC, assuming you are using uh, Windows, run uh, MMC, add, remove, snapping, certificate, add. Again, you need to be an admin here. Next, you select the certificate for the computer, and then a uh, local admin, and then uh, you basically uh, you finish it and that will display for us the certificate on the local machine you do a right click and then you do all tasks and then you do export in order to get the uh, private key as well so next will be uh, something like this will come to export yes i would like the private key it's really important you must export the private key otherwise cert will not be valid enablement of the secure ldap and the managed domain will fail at later on please pay attention to this one yeah Next, we basically give it a password and include all the certificate chain. Again, you can export uh, other properties if needed, but the minimal requirement is just the private key. You will need it. Password. Do not export it in different format, please. And then again, you need a password. And then after exporting the password, uh, what we do here, last thing, last thing, basically, give it a path to your local machine and then click finish. And that will be it. Basically, you exported the certificate into your uh like local uh, machine uh that's all for now i don't want to talk too much here so let's recover the rest within the next session thank you for watching and goodbye for now